Good morning. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. I am Holly Metter. Hi, good morning. And I'm Reagan Meek. And this morning we are here on Facebook Live to talk about um, the interview process and kind of what that looks like to and we want to best help prepare you um, for an interview when that time comes. Yes, yes. So yeah, we wanted to jump on this morning and give you all the great information. Um, I have my notes over here. I think Holly's got some with her on her end. So we'll just kind of get right into it. Um, so wanted to quickly mention, Holly and I both are in the direct hire division here at Matter Staffing. Um, and what that typically means is that we uh, typically fill uh, direct hire positions, which are permanent placements with our clients. We do also get opportunity to fill some contract roles as well. Um, but typically we do focus more on direct hire. Um, you know, and I think what Holly and I really wanted to stress leading off today was no matter what kind of role you're interviewing for through matter staffing, it's just important that you want to nail the interview. No matter what kind of role it is, it's always important to prepare and to plan to nail the interview. Um, you know, yeah, it, sorry, Ray. go ahead, Holly. No, you're good. Okay. <laughs> um, sorry. Good and, these days. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of um, our job. Reagan and I work together in the same department, um, and we have been trained, um, you know, very. Um, very well by our managers and by our leaders here on how to prep candidates for an interview. So it really is our job to um, really hold your hand and make sure that you are not left in the dark and that you feel fully prepared and ready to nail your interview. Um, yeah, and so we just want to share some tips um, that we have that we typically go through with candidates um, and kind of share with you what an interview um, experience looks like with our clients. Yes, for sure. Um, I think Holly and I did mention too earlier when we were, you know, the other day when we were kind of preparing our notes for this, we made mention to each other that, you know, it's always important to apply when you're applying to a position, it's always so important to know what you're applying to. You know, um, if you, before you apply, it's important to read the job description that, you know, whether it's us posting or a company, it's important to read exactly what's posted about the role and to make sure that you're close to being a really strong fit for the position. Um, you know, that was really the first step that I think we felt was important to share. Um, the next thing we wanted to kind of highlight was, you know, the more information that you give us about your uh, resume, about your career that you've had so far, um, just the more information that you can give us, the more that we can share with our clients to better prepare them and talk more about you. Um, when we send a cover sheet to our clients, that's how we typically represent candidates. We attach your resume and we send a brief cover sheet, just a little bit about you and um, what you've done throughout your career and kind of what you're looking for in a new position. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. uh, and I mean, I, I do, I think that Reagan will agree, you know, we both think that it is super important for you as the candidate to be as transparent with us as yes. possible through this process. I mean, we want to know why you are seeking a new role, why you left your previous role. Um, we are not here by any means to judge you. We are right. here to really partner with you so that we can be as transparent with our clients about why you are seeking a new role, why you've left previous roles, um, so that we can all work together to make sure that this is the right fit and opportunity for you and to make sure that you are a solid candidate, um, you know, absolutely. when moving forward for an interview for this. Position. Yes, absolutely. Um, and like I said, it's just the more information that we have, the better. Um, and it's just going to help you in the long run, you know, whenever you're interviewing for the position and such. Um, you know, kind of our first step when setting up a candidate for an interview, you know, we gather all the information, we, whether it's a virtual, we've been doing lots of virtual interviews these days, lots of phone interviews due to COVID-19 being around. Um, but, you know, we will send you all the information if it's a, some kind of WebEx or like some kind of virtual interview that you'll be doing through the company. We send you all the information. Um, we do have customers that are still doing on-site interviews. So if that's the case and you, you know, have to know the address, um, we will confirm that and send that over to you as well. We send you all the information um, that's going to help you to be successful in the interview. Uh, we 
always attach the job description if there is one. And if there really isn't a formal job description, which sometimes that is the case, we do our best to type up some notes, you know, in our email to you based off our conversations with our clients. Um, and that way you have a great understanding of what the job's going to be. You might not know everything leading into the interview um, about what they're looking for, but we do our best to give you that information uh, leading up to it. Um, we'll send you the job description. Like I said, if there is one, we will send you prepping materials. We typically uh, try to give some kind of document out to our candidates to help kind of prepare for interviews based off, you know, whether it's a phone, in-person, virtual, whatever the case may be. Um, and we just kind of make sure that it's important that you understand that you review this information. It's going to help you be successful in the interview process. Absolutely. And um, of course, whenever, you know, we are giving you all the details, we will make sure, um, you know, like Reagan said, you'll have the job description. We always like to say, you know, sit down with your resume, you know, on one side, um, job description on the other, go through line by line. And so that you can kind of have good talking points and you can see what they are looking for that really aligns, um, you know, with what you've done so that you can have that information to share. Um, because right. the important thing is for conversation to not get stale whenever you're in the interview, yes, um, you want to have really good, um, really good talking points. And so that sure. is always helpful. Um, yeah. We'll of course go over, you know, what to wear. Yep. Um, we'll share the company's website with you. Um, you know, and it is very important to make sure that you review the company's website in great detail. And yes. um, I know Reagan and I both, whenever we're um, prepping someone, you know, we tell them sit down with a pen and paper as you're going through, um, you know, reviewing everything and jot down any questions that you may have. Right. Um, we, of course, like for you to come to us first with questions so that we can kind of make sure that we answer everything for you. Right. Um, again, we don't want to leave you in the dark over anything. So um, we're not perfect. There are things that we miss. So if you feel like we've missed something, ask us, we can sure. you know, get that answer for you. But if we also feel like what you're asking is a really great question to ask in the interview, we will tell you that. Um, sure. Again, just to have talking points in to make sure that you are completely engaged. In yes. Your yes. It's so important to have questions prepared because like Holly mentioned, you don't want to not have talking points and you don't want it to kind of be like, you know, you get to that point in the interview where you're kind of like, all right, well, so is there anything else? You know, you want to be prepared and have those questions ready to go. Um, and Holly, you know, Holly mentioned, we do uh, encourage candidates to ask us when we're prepping for interviews. We will always touch base with you beforehand. We'll call you up, let you know, hey, you're confirmed. Are you ready to go? Do you have any questions for us? That kind of thing. Because like Holly said, we're here to help you. We will hold your hand throughout the entire process. That's what we're here for. Um, we want to make sure that you feel prepared going into the interview. Um, the So yeah, questions are always important to, uh, you know, have prepared when going to the interview too. And we always encourage candidates to do that. Um, one other thing I think we wanted to highlight too is if you are on LinkedIn, um, Holly and I are very hot on LinkedIn. We um, have a big network there. A lot of our employees here at Metter Staffing do have LinkedIn as well. Um, we do encourage you to take a look at your LinkedIn profile and make sure that it's cleaned up, make sure it looks, you know, aligned with your resume, make sure you have a great, you know, professional photo up there. Um, don't want to have any, you know, selfies up as you're <laughs> as your LinkedIn profile, you want to make sure you have professional photos, make sure you're smiling nice in your picture, make sure it looks, you know, good quality. That way, um, you know, if an employer wants to get on and take a look at your profile, that way, you know, that could initially be the first step. First thing they do, they see your resume come through and like, oh, let's see if so-and-so is on LinkedIn and they want to check you out, make sure your profile is updated um, and, you know, clear and cleaned up there. Um we also do encourage, uh, you know, when you get to your interview, say, for example, it is on site, we'll kind of do on site and virtual too, Holly. Um, when you do go for an on site interview, make sure you arrive early. Um, we do encourage candidates to get there at least 10 to 15 minutes early. Um, Holly made a great point when we were prepping um, for our. Uh, our video today that, you know, it's a good point to make sure that you ask us, hey, are there any, you know, parking instructions? Are there any specific on-site protocols that I need to follow whenever I do arrive on-site to the company? Um, those are great questions to kind of keep in mind as you're preparing to go for the interview physically, because every now and then they will have instructions from a client and they'll say, hey, make sure, 
when they get there, have them meet the receptionist at the front desk. Um, they will call for me to come to the lobby to grab, you know, Mr. Smith. Um, or if there's nobody in the lobby, they may say, hey, when you get to the lobby, there's a phone on the end table, dial my extension at blah, blah, blah. And um, I will come grab you once you are here. Um, so definitely just a strong point to remember is to arrive early and to maybe try to remember to ask, um, are there any specific onsite protocols that I need to follow when I get there? Absolutely. Um, especially during, you know, coronavirus and everything, um, yes. you know, we clients, it, it's nothing new. Um, everyone's doing things different right yep. now. Yep. Um, and so questions that a lot of candidates have, um, for me, and I'm sure for Reagan as well is, you know, what are, um, the COVID protocols and right. we make sure to find that out for you. Um, because of course our job and responsibility is to make you feel safe and to keep you safe as the candidate and then to also keep our clients safe. Sure. Um, so of course we, we honor the protocols. Um, and then along with that, you know, our clients, a lot of times do have, um, you know, special protocol that they follow, um, to even get into the yeah. interview process. Right. So right. it is really important to listen yeah. and to review that information. Yes. And one last thing I wanted to mention that just slips my mind that I was going to mention, um, when you're doing virtual interviews, so say it's at 10 o'clock, right? You want to make sure you're getting on to the link early enough, make sure that everything's working properly. Um, make sure you have the software downloaded the day before or hours before the interview. That way it has plenty of time to download to your computer, to your tablet, to your phone, whichever um, item you're using to do the interview. It's just so important that you have that downloaded on your computer and to arrive early. Again, treat this interview as if you are in person. That is so important to remember. Um, it's just one of those things that, you know, whether or not you're face to face in person, you are technically virtually face to face and you want to make sure um, that you are arriving early to that virtual interview. Um, so another quick tip that I wanted to mention too, as uh, we've definitely given this tip to some of our candidates is if you have a laptop, make sure you're kind of propping it up at a great angle. That way you're not kind of leaning into the camera. Nobody wants to have you in their face, you know, make sure you're sitting back properly, sitting up straight, make sure you're dressed nice, like Holly mentioned earlier. Um, you want to treat room. this as if you are a, an in-person face-to-face on-site interview always. Um, and I think the last thing we wanted to just mention is, you know, when you're in the interview, make sure you're engaged. And Holly mentioned that earlier, I know, but, you know, give the person that you're interviewing with your utmost attention. Uh, you know, you are taking time out of their day to interview just as much as they're interviewing with you. Um, but make sure you're, you know, giving them your full attention, being engaged and just have fun. You know, uh, Holly and I tell candidates this all the time is just, just have fun with it. You're talking about a job that you are obviously good at. You would not be interviewing for this position if you were not qualified. Um, and just have fun with it. Yeah. I mean, and, and be yourself, you know, be yourself. clients want to really know who they are interviewing and meeting with. Um, yeah. We don't want any surprises along the way. Right. You know, so just really, like Reagan said, have fun, make sure that you, you know, you be yourself yeah. uh, and really use the opportunity, you know, to meet with a client and show them, uh, you know, like we mentioned earlier, that you're engaged, that you're interested, ask questions because this may be, you know, the, the one opportunity that you get to do that. So make yeah. sure that it's equally a fit for you, um, you know, in the long run as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And just, have fun with it all. Um, I think we hit everything. Uh, Holly, did you, did you have anything else you wanted to add? I think we kind of no. got it all. No, yeah. I, think, I think we're good. Um, of course, if anyone has questions, yeah. um, if you see jobs that you are interested in, you're welcome you know, to reach out to Reagan or myself, and we are happy to help you along the way and absolutely. Um, answer any questions that you may have. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we will... See you guys next time whenever it's our turn and um, hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Yeah. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.